Now there is a complete chaos la, in the administration of the MIC, uh, not only at the national level, but also at the branch levels, divisional congress, as well as the state liaison committee due to untrue allegations, uh, due to untrue allegations and misinformation about the election of the MIC together with unlawful and invalid directives from the ROS. Uh, registrar of societies in their letters which I have explained why they are unlawful and invalid in the press statement. There is no provision in the Societies Act 1966 for ROS to make such a finding. Leaving aside the various complainants to the ROS, the Deputy President, one of the Vice Presidents and others who had actually won the 2013 elections started using or rather abusing the issue with ROS to portray as though there's a crisis in the MIC leadership and I was singled out as being uh, responsible. Uh, we had immediately appointed lawyers on the advice of uh, uh, lawyers. We have issued a letter dated uh, 24th December uh, 2014 seeking clarifications and raised certain issues with the ROS. ROS replied by the letter dated uh, 31st December uh, 2014 and for the first time issuing a purported notice under Section 16.1 of the Societies Act 1966. However, ROS did not give the proper notice as required <coughs> under Section 16.1 of the Societies Act uh, 1966 for MIC to provide evidence to the proper office bearers in the MIC. All this while, those individuals making all sorts of untrue allegations and giving misinformation to the media and the public, portraying that the MIC is in crisis. Due to this misconception, the Prime Minister intervened in an attempt to resolve the issues, which I welcomed open-heartedly. At the meeting held on 4th February uh, 2015, with the Prime Minister and others, it was agreed that fresh elections be conducted for all positions in the MIC as a way to resolve issues related to elections uh, in 2013. It <coughs> has also decided to conclude that allegations are valid without giving any opportunity whatsoever to the MIC to explain or clarify the position. ROS, in the same letter, held uh, that all elections in the general meeting of the MIC 2013 are null and white. Are null and white. Including my position as president, ROS had no powers whatsoever under the Societies Act to make such a finding. ROS cannot in any way nullify my election as party president. I was elected unopposed in 2013. However, the continuous unlawful conduct of ROS makes it impossible to resolve issues amicably with the ROS. In the circumstances, I am left with no choice. Uh, I am left with no choice. Uh, and then for MIC to obtain justice from the courts against the grave injustice being inflicted by the government department such as ROS with blatant disregard to the law. Unless ROS withdraws all letters, including letters dated uh, 5th December 2014, 31st December 2014, and 6th February 2014, 2015 immediately, in any event on or before close of business on Monday, 16th February 2015, and accept the proposals as stated in my letter 5th February 2015 for immediate and amicable solution. This unlawful prejudicial contact of ROS must stop immediately. We wait for Monday, then we will take legal action on the courts. If the ROS declines anything, then we will go to the ROS, we will take legal action on them.